Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install a brake caliper on a 2006 Nissan Frontier. So if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and like, share, and comment. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and loosen the brake line bolt that's connected to the caliper. Um, just loosen it, don't take it all the way off. And then what you want to do is take the two bolts that hold the caliper on. You might need a crescent wrench to hold the other, the other bolt. It's kind of like a safety, but I didn't need to do it, I guess. The next thing you want to do is take the two bolts off that hold the bracket into place. So once you do that, yep, go ahead and take the brake the bracket out. And the the stock caliper was connected to the bracket as like this as stock. So basically I'm going to put the whole thing on so I can get the two bolts off for the caliper. So go ahead and install the entire assembly together and what I would recommend doing is putting the brake line on the new caliper at this point instead of taking the the caliper off and you'll see why we had a huge problem trying to get it off um, but you'll see that later so anyways the next thing you want to do is take off the two bolts that hold the caliper into place um, like I said like I said earlier there I need to use the crescent wrench to hold the other piece on and it's basically a safety so your, you know, so your bolts don't fall off. Take the two off. Take the plug out of the brake, uh, the the brake line hole, and then go ahead and take the the uh, brake line out of the old caliper. Make sure that you put the new the new bolt and the two washers in there. So one washer goes on that side of the bolt, <clears throat> and the other washer goes on the basically against the caliper. So go ahead and put it in and. You know, just screw the bolts in. But the reason why I say to do it all in when the caliper is mounted is because the brake line was really fighting me, like real bad. And so you see all the hands in there. We had a huge issue trying to get that in there. But we finally got it in there. Go ahead and screw it on. And then put your, your caliper bolt, your, yeah, caliper bolts back on. Screw those in. Make sure you use your crescent wrench to hold the other side. Like I said, because it's a safety. Um, that way the bolts don't come unscrewed by themselves. So once you've taken, or once you put both screws in, then what you want to do is uh, bleed your brake line. So take the the washer, the washer, the rubber nipple off, and then go ahead and bleed your brake line with a partner. So you're going to need to have the the person pump the brake while you let the, the air out or the fluid until just fluid is coming out, and that's it. So don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.